Hi, it's Daniel Murphy, and it's a beautiful spring day. I am in my shorts, just popped up in this little Jap maple here, which I tried to take reduce quite a bit in height last year. It's actually in my backyard, and I want to show you one of my tricks, right? So, a lot of times when you take too much out of the top of an ornamental tree like this, the tree will respond by putting out a bunch of sprouts and we don't want it to sprout all these lower in, in, in down in these lower limbs here because like there's a sprout that's fine but we don't want the every lower limb just full of sprouts because it just aesthetically doesn't look pleasing so knowing that the tree is going to respond by sprouting out i when i make that cut there i left it six inches high and you could see what's happening and the tree is responding by putting out a bunch of new shoots but most of them are going to be up in that six inch stub and there's another one there there they all are in that one can you see that stub there okay so once the tree is kind of calmed down this year and and maybe even next year we'll let them grow for two years and 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 it's not going to have a situation where it's going to want to sprout out because it's just been pruned so hard we can come in there and cut those six inch stubs off Get rid of them and it's i use this more on apple trees and crab apples where the customer really wants a hard pruning they haven't been touched in years and like they want to bring them way way back you know they're going to sprout out if you know that's going to happen and then you make your cuts leave your cut six inches even a foot and let the sprouts sprout out on those stubs and then you can come by in a year or two and cut the stubs off with all the sprouts on them rather than having like if this whole branch here underneath those sprouts there if this whole thing was covered with sprouts what would you do? You'd have to like fool around with cutting all those sprouts off. So, and there's another one I actually made right up there. There's another example here. Intentionally leaving those stubs. So, you know, there's another one I left that just died. It didn't, it didn't really grow out. So the tree will tell you what it wants to do here. There's a shorter one here. Again, I'm not even worried about making a proper target prune on a one inch branch. Like what's the problem here? The compartmentalization is gonna happen the way it happens and there's gonna be no issues with you know this tree failing because of decay it's this limb here you know it's an inch it's my it's big, as big as my index finger and over here here's one i've made a couple cuts on that just died so we can just turn around and cut this off right here no problem second pruning and a few cuts over there that didn't didn't make it as well you see those things just died off so those can be you know the ones that die off they can just be cut off later if they sprout out like this then they're helping us keep the aesthetics of this tree looking good later. So I hope you all can figure that out and use that and see, how, see if it works for you. Thanks for watching.